seems to me that a lot of women out there are going to say, you know what, let me just go to my family doctor. Let me get a prescription for the synthetic version. It's nice and easy. I can get the Premarin or Provera from my doctor, bring it to the pharmacy. They'll fill it. My insurance will cover it, and I'll be done with it. So is this the way to go? I mean, should I? It, seems just, it just seems so easy. Is this the way to go? Is there any study or anything that tells us that we shouldn't do this? Absolutely not. That's the wrong way to go. And for over 25 years, big pharma and conventional medicine told women they could take those synthetic hormones that won't increase the risk of breast cancer, it won't cause excess strokes and heart attacks, and it'll make them younger and healthier. And they lied about it. And the studies were clear that they were lying about it. And um, those hormones do increase the risk of breast cancer, strokes, and heart attacks, and they are dangerous, and they should be pulled from the market. There's no reason for any women to take those for any reason. And that statement you just made is backed up in a, an amazing study that was done. It was the Women's Health Initiative, and this Women's Health Initiative, I thought the results were profound. They found a 29% increase in coronary heart disease. They found a 41% increase in stroke and an increase in blood clots to the lungs. And this really was unbelievable to me. A 26% increase in breast cancer? I mean, considering one in seven women suffer from this, weren't these results just unbelievable? Well, they were somewhat unbelievable because the results have been shown in some other studies. But they made such a profound mark. They made headlines across the country. And for the first time, the media was reporting the dangers of these hormones. So that was the good side of it. The bad side was women have been taking these things for 25 or 30 years and suffering the consequences of them.